Hey, what's up, Technoids? Elric here once again on the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel to bring you guys a new case from the people over at Cougar. This is their new Evolution case. Now, this is a full tower case that has some pretty cool stuff. Has a controller on top to control the fan speeds. It's supposed to be completely toolless, and this one happens to be white. So, first off, let's look at the front of the box. You guys can see all the normal normals there. I'm going to spin it around. All right. So here you guys go, I'm not even gonna go over it because you guys hate when I read the box, but I'm just gonna point down to it so you guys can see it. All kinds of nifty stuff. We'll actually get inside and see the case and see how it really is because that's what you guys wanna see. Got my trusty little knife. Gonna make my first medical incision right here. Another one right here down the side. Another one over here. And then we shall begin to disseminate this lovely little bad boy the dog has now got up and run around oh looks pretty cool all right that's what it actually looks like in the box before we take it out so i'm gonna go ahead and pull it around get it out of the thing now you guys said you like me to throw shit at the cameraman cameron's shaking his head he's like fuck you dude but it happens they want to see me throw stuff at you. So here it comes, cameraman. Fox, hey, cameraman. Oh, good. Hey, look at that. He's catching. Oh, there's some sound effects. All right. For the hard matter here. A little case. I'm going to spin this thing around right here, man. Take the thing off. Got some more stuff to throw at the cameraman. I hit the tripod. Oh, well. You know. Say la vie. Um, it's not really too heavy. The case uh, feels pretty light. Another thing throw in the camera. You can see there's a nice big bag around the entire thing as well. So here we go with a little tech magic. First you see the cover on and then, oh, voila, it's magically off. All right, we'll start off by looking at the front of the case. All the bays are completely sealed in and enclosed. And uh, let's see if the front cover comes off. Okay, there we go. So here's the front cover. The camera take a closer look at that. Spin it around, filter grills all the way through front of the case. Got another thing right here with a grill. We have here a fan. So there's a fan right here in the front taking the air intake and a dust cover, which I believe is removable as well. There we can see the fan. It's nice and orange. This one right here, you have to take four screws off to remove. This one just easily came off as you saw. Here's where you're gonna be putting either your CPU or maybe possibly an SSD, depending on how you want to do your case. I'm gonna probably put mine on the side over here, but there's the front. So now let's flip to the top. The top of this case for me is pretty cool. You've got USB 3.0, USB 2.0, multiple jacks for headphones, microphone, a dial for your fan control, your power on button, restart, really cool stuff these probably might have actually to do with light control and then one thing that's really cool it's gonna be hard to see but this right here pops down I'm gonna spin it around real quick just maybe the cameraman can zoom in on it. I don't feel it'll get too close in there but if you pop this thing down you can see inside of there there's a place to mount a drive fit an SSD just perfectly so if you want to plug an SSD right into that you'll have it directly hooked into your board through the inner wiring of the case pretty cool stuff I like that quite a bit this case actually also looks really nice. It's made of plastic, but it, it's quite nice actually. Here's the side panel, has a partial see-through window. We have another fan port right here if you wanna have a side fan. Let's go ahead and take the side screws off. These were very easy actually to take off. Some cases you guys have seen me, it's been hard to like even twist this thing. They've only been put on by the mountain giant. So let's see how easy the side panel comes off. Side panel comes off very easily, slight little tug. Side panel insides, like we said, room for another fan. Now, we can see there's an accessory package right here with all the wiring stuff. I'm sorry, excuse me, not the wiring stuff, probably all of your mounting hardware. Get that out of the way. Now, all the bays are the nice easy kind, they the plastic pull off. Being orange is really trippy with the white. I really like this a lot. Like, I don't know what it is, but I like this color scheme, it's weird. All these are easy, self-locking, plug your drives in, click, pop them, lock them very easily. 
So far, I've seen no reason to have to have any tools. Motherboard tray inside of here. There's all the places in the knockoffs for you to put your motherboard knockoffs in there. Please make sure you do this before you install your motherboard so it doesn't short out. I can see there's case manage, excuse me, I can see there's wiring back here, case wiring, easily be able to manage. You can put it back here. I'll take the other side panel off so we can see that further. Another fan in the back here for your exhaust. Also, all of your wires and all your interconnection stuff is all loaded right here. A lot of different stuff there. So let me flip it around. Here's the rear of the case. Now these guys don't mess around with really any water cooling stuff, so this case is not going to be a case really for doing water cooling with. Not too many modifications there on that. But for air cooling, it's really nice, it's elegant. You can see right here back in the base. You'll probably be able to do just two-way SLI or two-way crossfire, maybe three-way. Definitely not a four-way, I don't think. Probably not in a room. Power supply area. Let's pull off the other side of the case. Pull off the side again. Once again, easy. Actually, all you gotta really do is just pull it out and it actually pops. You don't have to really do anything at all. So here's that side panel, but there's really nothing on that one. So we'll get that out of the way. So back here, we have the plate out for the CPU on the motherboard. Now there really isn't that much room back here for cable management. Now, there's a tiny bit of room, but not a lot. So I'd have to say as far as cable management goes, I'd have to say that you're gonna have limited room back here. I mean, there is some room, but not a whole, whole lot. So you can probably put some of your wiring back there, but not a whole heck of a lot of it. So let's show you guys now the bottom. Here's the bottom of the case. There's a sliding filter for the fan again, removable and washable. Lock that back into place. Little rubber feet, all the stop box of the case so it doesn't scratch or damage the table like the one we're using right here. All the additional mounting stuff, like I said, the instruction guide, there's actually a breakout box in here for putting smaller drives into a bigger drive bay. So if you need to use an SSD, whatever, you can use this bay and the wiring stuff. So, I mean, that's pretty much it, folks. I mean, this is the Cougar Evolution. It's a case that's about $80, but I have to say it is one of the nicest $80 cases I've seen. There's not a whole lot it looks like on the back for cable management, but probably enough to be sufficient for many, you know, simple builds. So that's it. Look for us back here on Tech of Tomorrow with more reviews and more unboxings later this week.